Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Tuesday, the 30th day of January 2024. Open your mouth this morning and be saying Amen, I believe as I receive. Today, I want to announce to everyone hearing the sound of my voice today prophetically that the siege is over in your life. The siege of the enemies against your life, against your family, against your business and career. All the sieges are over in the name of Jesus Christ. That devilish siege that has been plaguing, I mean, that has, you know, that has been ravaging your life, the, 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 power, the, the power of the enemy that has been working against your family not to make progress in life, I declare today that the siege is over in the name of Jesus. Somebody who has been battling under the yoke of heavy sickness, I am announcing to you today that the siege of sickness is over in your life. Somebody is hearing me today. I am announcing to you prophetically that the siege of debt is over in your life. The siege of barrenness is over in your life. The siege of unproductivity is over in your life. The siege of diseases, all kinds of diseases, the siege is over in your life. Everyone hearing me today and saying amen, in the name that is above every other name, I declare and I decree the siege is over in your life. You are free by the power of the living God, and you are liberated by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone, as we step out today, the blessings of the Lord will meet you and overtake you. You will never be stranded today in the name of Jesus. No matter how small honey is, no one put honey in his mouth and frown his face. I am praying for you today that bitterness will not end your life. You will not eat. So you will not experience bitterness after you might have experienced sweetness. In Jesus' name, I am praying and I'm prophesying that today the Lord will remember you for good and prosper you in all areas of life. In Jesus' name, say Amen. I believe as I receive. Hallelujah. Praise God. Today we appreciate God for what the Lord is doing just have today and tomorrow to end or to pause our fasting and prayers we are grateful to god for helping us today is day 29 we appreciate god we cannot thank him enough for his faithfulness and his guidance may the name of the lord be praised forever in jesus name today in our bible reading we concluded the book of ezra yesterday today we are starting another book called the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah wasn't a prophet, he was not a preacher, but Nehemiah was an astute astute administrator. He was a servant, he was among the, you know, the captives in a foreign land, but because he made himself available, the hand of God rested upon him and God used him mightily in the land of Judah. He was even appointed governor. He was governor of Judah for 12 years. And it did well. So today we are reading the book of Nehemiah chapter 1 and chapter 2. Especially if you are in position of leadership, please take time to read this book meditatively. The Lord will bless you. Nehemiah chapters 1 and 2. Today let me take just a few testimonies before we hear the word. Testimonies are pouring in every day again. And we are grateful to God for that. The first one today said, I want to testify to the glory of God. Since I started using this devotional study book, that is the daily communion with God, I stopped having nightmares and I've been sleeping well throughout the night. Insomnia has disappeared and my BP has normalized. I thank God for answering prayers through that Daniela all the way from Nasarawa State. Wow, to God be the glory. By the grace of God, all our materials, whether written or audio, we send them out prophetically and with no full of prayers. 
look at this lady said, by just studying the, the daily communion with God, all problems are gone. To God be the glory. Let me take another one. This is all the way from the United States. Say, so, good morning, Reverend Father Mike Kenyola. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm a Reverend Father. I'm a Reverend and I'm also a Father. So you are in order if you call me Reverend Father Mike Kenyola. This is my testimony. I thank the Lord God Almighty. And I also want to thank you, his servant, to issue out, you know, reading of scriptures. It is a great blessing for me and my family. Thanks be to God and thanks to you, his servant. I went through this order of swelling phase from August 2022, and it which ended in March 2023. The itching was like ring. The itching like ringworm started on my two legs with constant itching. Now the itching has subsided, and I believe it will never come to this temple of God in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord God Almighty, whom you call and pray for the whole world to be better, he will watch and guide you and yours and the whole of your ministry. May all your travels remain under the protection of the Most High God, both now and all the days of your life, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Thank God for a great testimony like that. Let me take another one. This is a daddy. Good morning, sir. Your prayers are being answered. God has never failed you, and He will never fail you. He will continue to show to so I mean to show Himself strong on your behalf. Your prayer this morning is about about if you as if you miss something that you will find it. I said a very loud amen. I was ready to go out, and as I was picking my shoes for work, I saw a file. Inside the folder, inside the folder, inside the folder was, I mean, I saw a file and inside the folder was my school fees, I mean, school receipt that I've been looking for since last year. Without this receipt, I may find it difficult to enter into the exam hall. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. To God be the glory. Let me take this short one, the last one. Daddy, good morning, sir. Please share this testimony. I told you yesterday morning of my school fees that I have not paid and my exam timetable is out. You said God will come through for you in Jesus' name, and I said amen. It was not up to 24 hours. The money that was held since December dropped into my account. It can only be God because I did not see the money coming at this time. It's a miracle I will never take for granted. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for more anointing and grace upon you your family and ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. To God be the glory. Today, the 29th of our fasting and prayers, if you look at your devotional book, the topic today, very interesting, Baptism of the Holy Spirit. Baptism of the Holy Spirit. We have the Bible reading. We have the daily confession there. And also we have the exhortations and also three powerful prayer points. Please consult the book and read and pray the Lord will answer us. Tomorrow, we are going to be rounding up this uh, 30 days of fasting and prayer. Wherever you are, please get ready your communion material. Include anointing oil too. Put anointing oil. You have, you have bottled water. Include everything, to, you know, handkerchief, face to well. I'm going to be praying over it. There are a lot of people that have been saying that, Daniela, some of us might not be able to come physically to the church. How do you bless our materials? Yes. Tomorrow morning, by the grace of God, I'm going to be praying over the mantles and everything. I'm going to be blessing it as we do every every year. So that even your prayer request, I will do justice to that tomorrow morning by the grace of God. So after the prayers, then you wait till evening and repeat the devotional. That is, if you are not going to be in church with us for the life service, but if you can make it to the life service, it will be very better. I mean, it will be better, you'll be there. So I will give further instruction tomorrow. Praise the Lord. On the subject of backsliding or that you, sh you, do, you should not backslide, it is a very large uh, subject that we cannot just finish it in a hurry. Beginning from Thursday, I'm going to skip today, and I'm going to speak speak to I mean skip tomorrow. But by the grace of God, beginning from Thursday, 
the first day of February, I'll begin to share with us the, the, the danger of backsliding, the danger, the dangers that are associated, you know, with issue of backsliding. If you have backslided, there are dangers attached to it. If you are thinking of quitting, you need to hear those, the, the series that I'm going to be doing from Thursday so that you don't quit. Quitters don't win and winners never quit. So don't stop serving God. It may look difficult and tough today. Yes, keep, keep pressing, keep pressing. Don't look back. Don't quit going to church. The Lord will answer your prayers. I pray for everybody today, even as you lift up your right hand to God uh, and your prayer request, I pray that the power of answers will come upon your request and God will grant your our desires in the name of Jesus. Whatever you have with you that you are lifting up to God this morning, I pray that the power of the Holy Ghost come upon them and receive instant answers and miracles in Jesus' name. You are blessed. Remember to read your Bible today, the book of Nehemiah chapter 1 and chapter 2. Till we meet tomorrow, remain blessed and remain rapturable in Jesus' name. Amen.